This is one of my favorite ways to get around China, high-speed rail, and I'm not alone. In the past decade, China has built 40,000 kilometers of high-speed rail. That's enough to circle the entire equator. And China isn't done. They're building rail lines now in places you probably never could have imagined. This is the East China Sea. Here, thousands of beautiful islands, sometimes described as like stars sprinkled on the azure waters. From China's largest archipelago city, Zhou Shan. Here is a major maritime economic hub in China. World-class natural fishing ports embrace the isles, narrating the profound marine culture with each ebb and flow. In this stunning city of islands, besides the sea, I encountered Mao Jia Dai. She was keen to show me around the islands and share her aspirations. Grab it. You got it. Okay. You got a one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, a little one. Oh, a big one. Hey. A little tiny crab. There you go. This is Shenzhen Port, one of the world's famous port harbor for the ship. Yeah. Every night I hear the sound of the boat, boom, 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 like motor, sound of the motor. That's amazing. Yeah, it's like a lullaby. There's a whole chain of islands here, right? There was no bridge many years ago, so we have to take ferry boat or other kinds of boat to get the destination. We have been trying to connect them together. We're gonna cross this bridge to get to the another island called Changzhi Island. It is where my school is. That island was old and fewer people and like undeveloped. But since the bridge was built, everything developed. New buildings, new hospital, new restaurant. The ocean is a bountiful gift, but it can also be a troubling divide. Zhou Shan was always separated from China's railway network. For many years, the bridge was the islander's only link to the mainland. This limited connectivity created a cost in terms of time and money that was a heavy burden, especially when the weather was bad. When I was a kid, I never seen a railway before, only from TV. The first time I saw it, I was so excited and cheer. Oh my gosh, train! <laughs> Just like other people see the ocean. We expect the train so much. That's because first thing is about the time. It saves a lot of time. Jadai's dream is being realized, a world-class project that overcomes the boundary between land and sea. The Ningbo Joshan Railway is underway. This will mark a significant step forward in the region's development by establishing its first rail link. Cutting across 77 kilometers of terrain, this high-speed rail line is planned to operate at 250 kilometers an hour to protect maritime shipping and bypass hazards like undersea oil pipelines. An 11.21 kilometer long tunnel with a diameter equivalent to the height of a five-story building is being carefully excavated deep beneath the sea's surface. This engineering marvel will be the world's largest and longest undersea high-speed rail tunnel. Well, we are going into the belly of the beast, deep underground, where we're gonna see this technological wonder. Ah, Hello. <laughs>
目前我们这个超级工程呢、啊，已经到了最关键的时刻，现在已经要破岩始发了。Meet the person in charge of this project, Wang Shuang, a veteran with 16 years of shield tunneling experience. Now we have entered the Deng Ge Ji's range. This is the wall. It's constantly turning. It's constantly turning the wall to remove the rock from the wall. This big wall can remove 160 meters above the wall. It can remove it. It's no problem. Wow, it's just incredible. This has got to be the most complicated, though, right? 对，这个是我一生见的最复杂、最难的、最有挑战性的。To connect the tunnel as quickly as possible, the project adopted a bold dual-end excavation strategy. Two boring machines inch forward at a speed of three to five millimeters per minute, like deep-sea leviathans. They will spend two and a half years slowly approaching each other. When they finally achieve the remarkable precision docking at sea, they will do so with an error margin of no more than 20 millimeters. For everyone involved in this project, it's the ultimate test of skill and endurance. Rapid infrastructure development has spurred the growth of heavy industry. Take, for example, the boring machine I'm standing on. Called Dinghai, it is the pride of China's heavy industry. They have a slogan down here, marching to the depths of the earth, which captures the sentiment, of course, but this is so much more like the price tag, 350 million RMB, about $48 million in the U.S. But more than that, it doesn't capture the sensations, the gyrations that go through the core of your body or the roar of the engine itself. Basically, what it doesn't capture is just how awe-inducing all of this is. With its reinforced steel shield, the Dinghai boring machine can withstand the enormous pressure 85 meters underwater. Imagine the weight of a hippopotamus standing on the palm of your hand. This one, comprising over 30,000 components, is acclaimed as the world's king of construction machinery. There are only a few countries with the capability to manufacture tunnel boring machines independently. I was lucky enough to meet one of the Shield's brilliant young engineers, Dong Jichao. How big is the di diameter? Uh, how, how big is it? We have 14.57 meters. The length is about 4,350 tons. This is so huge. I mean, how do you put it together? It needs to be a construction site below. Then we also have to look at the construction site. 海底隧道施工进行了一些针对性的设计，然后采用了分块结构，整个登陆机就像搭积木一样，在洞内进行一个组装。And it was all made in China? 是的，就是整台设备我们现在已经是实现了国产化，无论是从整机还是到部件，现在都是 made in China. Amazing. Amazing. From zero to hero in just two decades, China has risen to lead the world in tunnel boring machine production. Claiming 70% of the global market. The Deng Ge Ji was developed after it. It's not just about the price. It has a certain advantage. The second one is that the equipment is more stable, more quickly reacting. Before the Deng Ge Ji was developed, it didn't feel good. But when you look back and look at it, the speed of development is really fast. It's very fast. The road is good, the bridge is good. This place is where I was here. I've been working hard for this place. I've been working hard for it. I've been working hard for it. I've been working hard for it. China's urbanization is on a scale never seen before. It's been powered by policy and robust manufacturing. It's as if China is building a city the size of Chicago every year. 
By 2035, over a billion people in China will have achieved a high quality and sustainable urban lifestyle.